Hello and welcome to another video from Kenson Kerman. This is part 4 of the Kaleidoscope Time Trial. The previous episode, part 3, was going to be the last episode for electric cars, but with all the weird lighting effects I had to do a quick night race just to check out the light. But before we get started I thought I'd have a quick tour of all the previous race cars that you saw parked up. Um, all a bit weird I think, uh, or conventional in some respects. Back up to the top by the lights, the more recent ones. See, Nearly all of them have got uh, a pilot or driver I suppose on board. Uh, so I think the astronaut complex might be getting a bit short-handed. So we'll start with a bird's eye view waiting for it to get dark before we zoom in. And have a little race around the kaleidoscope time trial at night. So we're off down the ramp and heading towards the gate where we can see lots of lights because I've left all the cars parked there so that's, um, that's not doing the frame rate much good at the moment. All these extra cars and drivers sitting there doing nothing. Let me swing and clear them. As we head down to the first corner. Gonna go round the green bollard. Try not to hit it. Try not to roll. Try not to spin out. Yep, yeah, there we go. Coming into the sharp left and out across the courtyard, heading towards the astronaut complex. And it's still glowing brightly with oranges and yellows and funny coloured tints on the grass there. And they're flickering on and off through the gateway there, heading for the water splash. How are we going to cope with this? That was a bit quick. Woohoo! Up in the air, landed a bit roughly, and we broke two tyres. Oh well, it's only a test, so let's just have a quick time warp and uh, we can just fix those wheels and yeah that's done right we're off again yeah i think we got away with that no one was watching so so back on course again around this double left hand turn out through the bollards and heading for the well, orangey green astronaut complex this side trying to go under here without hitting anything yeah don't worry about the camera that just goes through the roof of the canopy a quick blast across here through the flashing red grass and oh that's glowing really red the back of that building oh no someone's turned it off as we come out through the undercut and heading out towards the radar dishes and there's not a lot of lights out here until we uh, spot the green bollard and the red arrow in the distance Come on up on those, and we go right and right again. Whoa, not that much. Whoa, not too much. Steady. Oh. <laughs> oh, got away with that one. Right, back on course again. Let's see if we can get across this grass dip without having too many problems. Oh, you know, that was fairly safe. I don't think we're going quite fast enough for problems. But, uh, let me keep this steady. Yeah, we got through there okay. Now we've got this greeny orange turn left here. That was a bit slippery. And right at the red. And right again. And they're all glowing. That's still glowing nicely. Not sure all those red lights. Oh, it must be this bollard here that's uh, doing most of that red light there, I think. Anyway, through the gateway. And heading out to the space plane hangar, is it? And looking for the last gateway here. A quick jink left, trying not to hit the storage tower. Around the last bollard. And running for the finishing line, and we're there. Whoa. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, well, that wasn't uh, intended. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, we only lost one wheel. And both headlights, by the looks of it. I think there is uh, the helmet lights. I did struggle with the water splash. I thought I'd show you a couple of other previous attempts. Uh, so this one, he got away with it fairly well, fell out of the car and managed to get up and take his helmet off and jump up and down. 
and then we try it again, a bit faster, a bit of a funny landing, and boom, we have explosions, and goodbye car, come back, oh, but wait, what's this, <laughs> he's got his head stuck in the ground, <laughs> we had a face plant in the, uh, in the last video, but this is definitely a head stuck in the ground, oh, it's a she, oh, she got a head stuck in the ground, Well, that's all for the electric race cars, but don't go anywhere just yet because we've just got time for a few quick preview clips of the upcoming rocket-powered race cars at the Kaleidoscope Time Trial. So I thought I'd start off simple. Uh, I just dropped a fuel tank and a, a rocket engine onto a cart and uh, to be honest I was quite disappointed with the performance of this I thought it would be a lot quicker um, although it is building up speed quite steadily and is going at a fair lick now uh, brakes was something I didn't really think about uh, uh, turning should be something I should think about a bit more I think so that was the, the first attempt and uh, the driver survived so we've upgraded the rocket engine this time and that's more like it and Oh, <laughs> um, uh, well it exploded when it bounced, so um, let's try taking it a little little gently over this ridge until we settle and then off we go and no, nope, that's still too much of a bump and yep we lost control, destroyed the start line, never mind, so we move the fuel tank this time so it doesn't hit the ground first. So we're going to have a nice blast of power off the start line. And head in towards the vehicle assembly building. And uh, this is in real time. The jets are obviously a lot quicker than electric. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that is the end of the first, or well, that car anyway. Uh, I think that's Starwig Kerman and he's literally brought the house down nothing but embers and ashes left mm, a fun glitchy moment ah, but Starwig managed to survive well you're fired Starwig get out of here well that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please click on like and don't forget to subscribe and check back soon for new videos Thanks for watching.